jump back into what I was saying. So when I when I read Acts 2.24, I knew it was the Lord saying that the new thing, it can't look anything like the old thing. Thanks, Amanda. Appreciate that. It can't look anything like the old thing. And that's confronting. That's confronting to us because we we have to honor what's gone before us. And I don't think that's what God was saying. It's not that we lose dishonor for anything that has been before us. We don't dishonor the past moves of God. We don't we don't dishonor past, you know, prophetic movements or whatever. We don't do any of that. It's just that God's giving us the heads up that what we're moving into, it has to look very different to anything we've ever moved in before. I just recorded a private video that I'm only sharing in the Wild Ones Collective and to our Wild Ones group because it can be confronting. I don't want people to take my words and take them a different way and to get mad at me and think that I'm, I'm, I'm calling out you know, leaders in the body of Christ or anything like that. I feel like I, I feel more safer having these conversations that are very reformational and in, na in nature in, in these smaller settings. And so if you want to watch that video, I've just posted it up in the Wild Ones Collective. But, you know, I feel like what God's doing right now is such a new thing. It's going to confront, it's going to confront so much of what we have been used to and uh, so much of what we've almost normalized and I was just sharing, I'll just say this, I was just sharing on the wall, oh my goodness, I, have, I can't help myself. I was just sharing how, I was just sharing how God is shifting us from celebrity prophets and people to a company of people. It's the nameless and faceless that are emerging in this hour. Man, I feel such a, man, I feel the delight of the Lord and just like this holiness around even saying those words. This is about a people that are emerging. And what we're about to step into and what we've felt stepping into 2024 is, is such a holy discontent that what we have even been involved in. It's like, I even look at some of the seasons of my life, I'm like, man, like I thought that was normal. I thought that was what God wanted. And you know, it's not that any of us are wrong or bad or any of these leaders are or anything like that. It's just that when God, detours us he detours us and when he leads us out of something he leads us out of something and when he and when he births something new in us that isn't anything like what's out there he does that and it's him and we have to follow that we have to be obedient to that and what many of you have been preserved for is not the half mixture thing that looks a bit new wine feels a little bit new wine the language is good you know but you get in there and it's just the same thing. It's just narcissism. It's just, uh, you're a voice yet again to build someone's empire. You're, um, you're just another number and your voice is still squashed, but you're just now in a apparent new wine environment doing so. And what I really felt when I woke up was like the Lord, the holiness of the Lord, the, just even the fear of the Lord in my own life. You know, we're launching our Wild Ones Collective this year, finally, right? Finally, I wrote the book two years ago and finally God's given me the green light to actually do this thing. And the fear of the Lord on me is, it can't be about me. It can't be. It's about what God's pouring out over a people. It's about the nameless and faceless that he's raising up. It's about the ones that have been in hiding, the ones that have just gone, I can't, I can't keep casting my pearls in these environments that just shut me down. And, you know, I think we, and I'm just being really honest, I think we, we choose to go back, like a dog goes back to its vomit. I think we choose to go back to those environments because we prefer it over being alone. But in this hour, God's, raising up equal companies and equal packs where you don't have to keep going back to those places for your religious fix anymore. You know, it's a place where you, you, you feel alive a little bit or at least for a little part of the time until you actually get into it and you begin serving or you begin being involved and you realize it's, it's another soulish environment where you're gonna be squashed and yet again, you're just wounding and sabotaging yourself by being a part of it. So I think I pretty much just said what I said on my wild ones, but um, it was a little bit deeper than that. What God's doing is so new and it demands that we look at it through eyes of, like eyes of a child. We need to look at what God's doing and get back our holy reverence and fear of the Lord. Wow, he's doing something new. 
and it's not going to look like anything that's out there. And those that have built their empires on formulas and methods and certain perspectives of doing ministry are going to be offended at what you say yes to in this season. You're going to have to be okay with that. That's a part of the call. If there's anything I've, I've learned over these years, but especially this last year, I, I, I don't serve people. I'm not doing anything to wow people. I'm not doing anything to, to make another leader or someone out there. You know, I'm, I, I don't live for them. I don't work for them. I work for Almighty God. And the end of my life, I'm gonna look Jesus in the eyes and he's gonna say, well done, good and faithful servant, because I said yes to him. And in this moment, that yes to him is, I'm gonna do what's unpopular again and I'm gonna be okay with that. I'm gonna do what's new again and I'm gonna be okay with that. You know, there's gonna be a few little hits along the way, people will throw things, people will judge you, people will misunderstand you. Let it be a worship, just point it back. <laughs> just take it with you in the secret place. Just say, you know, Jesus, it's bothering me, it's getting to me. That's okay, you're a human, you can feel those things. You know, you've been discluded and rejected and the misfit for so many years what's what's another season as God builds you into the new thing that's what he's doing he's building you into the new thing trust me they're gonna want a piece of the new thing once they taste it right now they don't because they think they think that what they're doing is is the only thing we're the we've got the corner on the market of heaven baby no you don't God's doing a new thing and it's only for those who choose to ascend the hill of the Lord. That's what this journey is about. It's not about who speaks better. It's not about who's more connected. It's not about who speaks at more places. It's not about who has the, the most profound prophetic words. It's not about any of that. That stuff is meaningless. It's about who says, hey, you know what? I want to ascend the hill of the Lord. I'm going to get in the presence of God this year. I'm going to let it change me, rearrange me. I'm going to let it... I'm going to let it just stew and simmer in my spirit until it redirects me somewhere that I'm meant to go. And it takes me out of the places I'm not meant to go. Man, we've been in a process in these last three or four years. We've been in a process. But it is, it is the only place I'd want to be. So I guess that's my thoughts for you guys. And I just, I just feel such an excitement actually. I feel such an excitement in my spirit, man. God is raising up people who are, if their only skill, if your only skill is this, praise God for it, okay? If your only skill is this, is that you say yes to Him over the crowds, you listen to Him over the crowds, then my goodness, you're already so many miles ahead. We need to be like Caleb and Joshua and we just, we choose to linger rather than whatever the activity of those other 10 spies was. We need to look different, see things differently, and we will, we will if we send the Lord, send the heel of the Lord this year. What am I getting at? I don't know, there's a bunch of things in there. I'll leave it to you guys to, to get at. God's doing a new thing. We need to leave the old dead man behind, the old dead movements behind and be okay with that. The people that choose to incorporate the dead man with the new thing, I wouldn't waste your time, okay? I would not waste your time. Companies that choose to allow or tolerate Jezebel because they've made it about ego and reputation. They've invited her in, they've, 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 they've let her have a meal at the table. They're not possessed by Jezebel exactly, they're just, they're just letting her have a bit of influence. Don't be a part of those places. Choose to be the new thing. Choose to be the new thing that God is pouring out. It might mean that, okay, I need to just depart from some of the places I've been involved in or doing something because I just need to get my religious fix. It's costing you, it's sabotaging you, it's weighing you down, it's putting you in bondage. Be the new thing. And so, I feel like I'm just sharing my conviction to you. 
feeling what I'm feeling deep in my spirit. We've been on a detour and best thing I ever did. Love you guys. And I will get off social media now because as if you didn't hear, I'm on a social media fast. Um, but I had to share this. Jumping in a February, Wild Ones, Remnant. I can't wait, can't wait to see what God's going to do. By the way, we're back in Australia for a few months. So I can't wait to see what God's going to do. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we need to really reconnect with a lot of our Aussie crew. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys there. Uh, we're at the 222 conference in February with, with Lou. We're in LA next month, like two weeks away, with uh, Jenny Donnelly. So that's going to be fun. Um, beyond that, uh, there'll be stuff up. But you know what? It's not about me. Don't come see me speak. Step into your calling. Step into who God has called you to be. That is the most beneficial thing for you in 2024 is ascending the hill of the Lord and being who God has called you to be. Don't go chase down speakers or, or people. Chase Jesus. Pursue his face. That's number one. And you watch what he will do by the end of 2024. Love you guys. See you soon.